This is a continuation of my planning series and today I'm going to give you seven of my top things that I want to do at Magic Kingdom that I've never done before. So stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Cindy aka Disney Queen. Today I'm coming with you to you with a video about Magic Kingdom. And I thought I would do two parts. And the way I'm going to explain this is, originally when I um, started planning for us to go to Magic Kingdom, our first thought was that we were going to be able to get our tickets in advance and we would be able to do Fast Pass. So I had started making all these plans of all of the rides that I wanted to get on. And at some point we decided that there's a slim chance we're not going to get our tickets until we actually get to Disney. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. One of the reasons is we're actually doing Disney um, military um, appreciation passes. Um, I know there's another name for it and I'll put it in here. It's just not coming to me right now. Um, and I'm even thinking about doing a, a video on how it is to do um, to, to book through the military. Um, anyway, long story short, um, it looks like we won't be getting our tickets until we get there. And so because of that, I started rethinking how I would do the parks. And we're doing a five-day park hopper, so we're still going to be able to get into the parks and we'll, st we'll still be able, because we're staying on property, we'll still be able to go in early to um, catch, you know, some of the is it extra magic, early magic hours, um, or even stay late. So that kind of factored into me changing my setup of how I was going to do our trip. Now we are what people used to call, I don't even know if they use the name anymore. We are people what they used to call commando um, park people. And basically that meant for us, we would hit the ground running first thing in the morning, go to the park until like noon, go get some lunch, and then come back in and stay all evening until it closed. I mean, we were that people. We were rushed from this ride to that ride, and it was fun, and the kids were younger. And so for us, it was more about we weren't sure how many times we were going to actually come to the parks, and so we wanted to get in everything that we could as much as we could for the short time that we were there. We usually stay between five to eight days um, and we usually get four to a five day park hopper. And so, um, but now having gone for many, many years, I started thinking, what if we did it a little differently and we slowed down and relaxed and then really enjoyed not just the parks, but the resorts and explore Disney in a new way. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is seven things that I'd like to do in Disney that I haven't either haven't done in a very long time or that I have not done at all. And I have a list um, just because I'm getting old and I need to remember stuff. <laughs> so today I'm going to give you my seven things that I'd like to try in the park that I haven't done before. And then next Tuesday, I'm gonna give you like a rundown of some of the things that we've decided that we're gonna do differently. Um, what my ride priorities are, and because we won't be able to get Fast Pass um, tickets until we're actually there, that's gonna change how we see the park. And we've decided that if we don't get to some of those rides, it's okay because more than likely there will be another trip in our future so having said that the first thing that i'd like to do is ride the omnibus or the trolley have any of you guys ever done that it's funny i was watching michael k um one of his latest videos and he talked um and he got on the omnibus and i've always seen the omnibus like go down um main street um and i've seen the trolley go down main street and we've always been the people who are rushing past it, waving at the people to get to the first area of the Magic Kingdom Park, because I'm talking right now, I'm talking about Magic Kingdom, Talk um, to get to the first ride that we're trying to get to, whether that was with a fast pass, or whether we were trying to get to it early before the line started to back up. And a lot of times we would just fly by Magic Kingdom, um, the Main Street area, and go straight for the different lands. 
And so this time I said, you know what? When I walk through that park, I always get excited. When I first, first walk through the gates and you first see the castle and we get so excited, excited trying to get to the different points, you know, either going to Adventureland or Tomorrowland or Frontierland or Fantasyland, that we don't slow down and just really take in what basically is like, to me, a really beautiful part of the park, which is the Main Street. And part of that is the trolleys and the, um, the omnibus that sometimes goes down. You'll see the horses um, uh, going down the street and we've never really stopped and let the photographers take a picture of us in front of the castle. Like we might brush and take one of ourselves and none, all of us are not in the picture. And um, usually the shops we stop at on our way out just to um, to like bypass the crowds. That's a tip for people. Um, the way the shops, especially on the side where the Emporium is, um, you can start in one shop and walk your way through all of the shops and kind of bypass some of the people who are walking in the middle of Main Street on your way out. And we would just kind of glance at the the um, items in the stores so one of my things is to slow down really take in Main Street really um, enjoy the sights and sounds of Main Street um, which goes to one of my to my number two thing that I like to do and that is to stop and listen to the singers there are the trolley singers and then there are the dapper dans and i've seen them i've heard them but we've never slowed down long enough just to take it all in and listen to them sing and i love singing i love music and so this time around we're gonna take the time to do some of that stuff um uh I guess for me, having been a couple of times, I realized on our last vacation that as much as we enjoyed the vacation, uh, we spent a lot of time in the heat, rushing around to this this ride and rushing to get to this fast pass and uh, rushing out of the park to get to the next park. Um, and I don't wanna do that this trip. Um, some of you know my story, you know um, some of the difficulties we had last year. I'm not gonna talk about that a lot, but it just made me appreciate things a little differently. And so if given the opportunity to go back, I want to appreciate, I want I, I love photography. So I wanna take pictures of things. I want to be in pictures. Um, a lot of times I'll take the pictures of my family, but I'm not always in the pictures. So I want to um, utilize that time to like really just soak it all in. And the, the best time to do that is at Christmas time. And when we go, the decorations for Christmas will be up. And so I just thought, let's just do it a little differently. And I talked to my daughter and she said she was okay with that. And I was like, hey, that'll work for me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So number three on my list of seven things that I'd like to do differently or that I've never done before is I want to sit in the hubgrass area and just chill. Now I know that doesn't make much sense to a lot of people, but uh, in 2017 was the first time that we had seen how they had expanded that area. Um, when I used to go to Disney, um, before they redid it, there were trees and things. I know people who've been there, you know, who have gone years and years ago. Remember, there used to be trees right after you hit that first part of Main Street, just before you hit the castle. And there were all of these trees and stuff. And I remember when they first took it down, I was really sad that that was happening. <clears throat> but when we went to Magic Kingdom, I noticed like just how open the area was and how beautiful it was. And I kept saying, we're gonna stop either take a, eat a snack sitting down and just relax or just take some pictures in the area like you see everybody do on Instagram. <laughs> and that never happened. It was on my list of things to do, but we didn't do it because we were rushing here and there. And so I said, okay, this time around, 
because the, the, the plan is not to rush to anything. We're going to sit and take pictures in the hubgrass area. So that's, you know, that's just me. Okay, another one. So that would be number four. We're going to watch the castle show which um, at the moment I think is Friendship Fair. I don't. I haven't heard any news that it's changing. Um, I've seen castle shows in the past, but I've never seen the fa the Friendship Fair one. And it has all of my favorite characters in it. And so, like Cindy, why didn't you stop and watch the the show again? Because we were rushing everywhere. And so I thought this time around, we're going to check the guides. Um, we're going to check, check our app and we're going to stop and watch the show. The next one on the list, which is number five, is I have never seen the Festival of Fantasy Parade. And I hate that I was there in 2017 and didn't see it with the big um, dragon with the fire before it caught on fire. <laughs> We didn't stop. We didn't take the time to stay and watch the parade. And we always watch the parades, but this time around, we didn't watch the parades. And I don't know how that happened. So I said, I'm watching the parades this year. <laughs> that is at the top of the list as well. Okay, so the next one, number six is stop and take a photo at the train of the train at the train station. I don't know if you know that right now, um, the train is actually just docked in the front of the train station because the, the tracks are being um, rerouted because they're doing a new ride in uh, Tomorrowland. <clears throat> and because of that, they're gonna have to change some of the, the way that the train goes around the um, park. And for those who've never been before, there is a train, um, is a locomotive train that goes around the whole entire Magic Kingdom Park and there are three stops at the moment. I don't know if that's going to change. Um, there's a, wait, you know what? I think there's still a stop in the Fantasyland area. Um, it used to be Toontown Fair. Do you guys remember that? And it used to be a stop there. So, But I think there's still a stop there, but I think it's over near where the the circus um, tent area is now and then there's one in Frontierland and the funny thing is is that we usually get on the train on these trips but this time around when we went um, we went to go get on the train after we had gotten off the of, um, one of the rides and it was broke down and so we never got a chance to go back on the train and so I was really kind of upset that I wasn't gonna be able to ride the train but then I saw someone take pictures in front of the train um, and I was like how often do you get an opportunity to do that because most of the time once the train stops and you're getting ready to get on it you're rushing to get a seat to get on the trains before you know it starts to fill up but you don't ever just stand in front of the train and take a picture or take a picture sitting on the train. So I know these are not like over the top things to do, but for me, I look at it as a way to capture a memory. And so that is why that is on my list. And I love the fact that these trains were trains that um, um, Walt Disney found in Mexico and he then had them brought back and refurbished to be used in the parks. I just think that is just so neat. And I've always loved the idea of riding across the country on a train. And I've always loved any park that we've ever gone to where there's a train, I get on the train because I just love the idea of a train. Um, the furthest I've been on a train is to DC. <laughs> Um, and that's not the same as being on one, of, on one of the old fashioned trains. So that is number six on my list. So number seven, the last one on this list for this particular park, I think I'm gonna do it for each park. And um, if you guys have some ideas of things that you know people overlook when they go to Magic Kingdom, please leave them below. Give me some ideas of things that I can do that's low key and relaxed. Um, while we're at Magic Kingdom. So the last one, which is number seven, is play the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game. Now, I'm not usually a game person, 
but I'll just be honest with you I want the cards <laughs> so because of that I thought I even if I don't you know get all of the clues and we don't find them all it still would be fun to do um, and it would definitely make us slow down and maybe see areas of Magic Kingdom that we haven't paid much attention to I think it was um, we went in 2017 I noticed um, the Cinderella fountain for the first time and I took a picture of it and I was like I'm pretty sure I've never seen this before and I'm talking about the fountain that is um, near tomorrow I'm um, near um, uh, what is it near it's near Peter Pan and it's near um, it's a small world and somebody will have to tell me if it's if, if it's new or if it's always been there because if it's always been there I definitely missed it and did not see it and because I know there's another wishing well fountain near Cinderella's castle that's not the one I'm talking about I'm talking about the fountain and I believe it's Cinderella that's sitting and she's like holding a little bird in her hand I think it is um and so uh there's just so many little details that you kind of overlook and I thought well if we try doing a game then maybe we will see some things that we've never seen before I've never looked for a lot of the hidden Mickeys at Disney um, that would be fun to do um, I'm trying to think of what else I haven't done there there's lots of things that we didn't do um, just because we were always rushing to get to a ride and I don't want to do that this time so this is a really short video just to kind of um, give someone else who has either been a lot of times or is going and they're concerned that you know their days are gonna go by too fast the one advice I would say is yes ride the rides that you really want to ride if you can get the fast pass for those rides get the fast pass for those rides but if you don't get it, don't let that ruin your um, trip. I've been on trips where I've seen people, like families, just rushing. I mean, leaving children behind because <laughs> they're rushing to get to the next ride. Guys, there's no way to enjoy your vacation. Take it from somebody who knows. I came back home from my last vacation, and as much as I loved it, there, was, there were things that I didn't even remember what we did because we were rushing everywhere. And I said, I'm not going to do that the next time. And so I think by us waiting to, to buy our tickets, and I'm not saying that might not change, but I'm saying by the possibility that we won't get our tickets until we actually get to Disney, um, at first set me in a panic mode because I am a person who likes to plan. And my first thought was, we're not going to be able to ride anything. But I remembered on our last trip, we had fast pass for, um, for a lot of rides and by us going in the park early in the morning when it first opened and going to some of those, those rides or some of them even later on in the evening, um, we were able to still get on those rides and we even canceled some fast pass and that's another thing someone might cancel a fast pass so you never know what you might be able to pick up now the possibility it may take a miracle for us to pick up um some of the really really popular uh fast pass rides but some of those aren't even on our bucket list of things that we want to ride on and so next week i'm going to tell you what my bucket list and you might be surprised it's not the normal rides that everybody gets excited about. I like some of the old-fashioned rides that most people kind of like bypass to get to the fast rides. And so next week I'm going to tell you what my priority uh, priorities are for um, Magic Kingdom. And I think I'm going to do that with each of my videos. I think I'm going to tell you seven things that I'd like to do in each park that I've never done before. And I think that I'm going to prioritize it and things that we'd like to do one thing for sure is i know i want to do a couple of different character meets of characters that we haven't taken pictures with and that's going to require us slowing down a little bit because that's another thing we didn't do we would see the characters come out 
for the meet and greet and there was a chance that we could get in the line right away but we didn't because we were rushing to get to another ride so I would say to anyone who's going um, slow down and enjoy the magic um, if it's your first trip or if it's your 10th or 20th trip sometimes you just need to take it slow and you might find that there's things that you miss because you have been going so fast <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video like I said I just thought it was a neat idea and I, I once again if you have some ideas of things that you know some things that people don't normally think of at Magic Kingdom to do or just to to go and explore at Magic Kingdom um, leave a comment below I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? And until I see you the next time, have a blessed day.